kinds of weird and wonderful imagery can be created using layers in Photoshop. How to do this in a few minutes. The key thing, layers. Go to the layers panel. I've got this car design. Now I want this car to be speeding along and I want a nice blur effect behind and also on top. Select the layer and duplicate it. Go to layer and duplicate. And again, layer and duplicate. Now this is a smart object. You could use a normal layer, but as soon as you apply these effects, it's really easy just to use them as smart objects. And you can turn them into smart objects via layer, smart objects, and convert to smart object. So I've got this one. This is gonna be my central image. So let's go to this one first, the bottom one. And now go to filter and to blur and motion blur. And as soon as you apply this, this is applied as a smart filter in Photoshop. So a smart filter, and you can change it at any point. So you can set the distance, push it to the max. You can see you can create all kinds of effects just flying off in distance. Now I don't want 2000. You want to see some of that there. You don't want to push it too far. Maybe about a thousand pixels. And you can change the angle, obviously, depending on the car or the object you want to use. And obviously the angle there, it's about 28. So I'm just going for that. Click OK. One great thing about this is you can use masks. Smart filters have got this mask. This is what this is. This little white area here. And you can fill it with black. Because I don't want this front bit. Front bit, obviously the car is not whizzing the other way. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna apply a selection. Now I could use a brush stroke. That's another great way of doing it. Probably just as good. Just go to the brush and apply it here. So select that, make certain that's selected and then apply it black. And you can apply it and remove it very quickly. As again, you could use selections. Now the rest of it, that's the shadow, that's the car. That comes part of the image, so I can't remove that. And you can see, as you do it, you've now just removed very quickly. So all you need to do is just remove it. You've still got this behind. But I don't really like this. I mean, this is fine, but this is not blurry. I want this to be speeded in as well. So I can go to this layer that's above and do much the same. So go to filter and motion blur. I can just repeat it. And again, that's applied as a smart filter. So motion blur, and you can see the effect there. And again, of course, you can see now it's applied in front there. And again, select here. Again, go to the brush, and you can use any brush. I'm just going with a fairly small, just soft round brush. If you're reasonable, use anything like that, 100%. And again, you can see, you can then just simply brush it or use a selection, whichever you feel is quickest. And you might just want to go, and it's quite nice to do a selection if you do a selection, because the thing is with just brush strokes, you end up with this sort of sort of edge there. So I'm just going to go with selection because you can set a feather. So let's just set 40, 50, just select that area. I think about there, that's reasonable. And again, make certain you select this not the image and then go to edit and fill and again fill it with black click OK and then you can see most of it's removed because of the selection and the feathering it doesn't look too sharp you haven't got that sort of right very sharp edge so select and deselect and now this guy and again you can always go to brushes and of course a good way of doing this is just to reduce it the opacity down you might just want to just Go there very, very lightly. Reduce it down to 13 or 14. Just try it out and just see which. You just don't want any sort of like really obvious sharp edges. Now you can see the result there. Now it still doesn't look what I want. What I want is the car to have a bit of movement, a bit of not just that blurring effect. And a great way of doing that with this layer selected, smart object. So again, it's a smart object. Go to filter and liquefy and click OK. Now, you notice I've made a mistake. I don't want to do that. I want this. No point in applying the effect to that. You can, you can modify the mask. You can do that, perfectly reasonable. But now, go to Filter and Liquify. And in there, you can see you've got this. Now, I don't want this part. I'm not going to manipulate this, because you can't see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But what you can do, you can just Apply some distortion, just subtle, just using this forward warp, 
So you can get the car to be slightly curving, just bending around. That's the, the motion, not the car itself. You could, of course, distort the car if you want. But you can see, you can just distort it, just, and you can always undo. That's the great thing about smart filters. So cancel or click OK, and you can see then you've got the impression of the car. You've also got a like, nice curve there, just spinning around, just turning, whizzing through. You've got that moving there. And again, you can tweak it, simply going to lick fight, double clicking, bringing up the panel again. Then you can just, just change it, maybe reduce that down and click OK. And you can see and create all kinds of fast speed. 